I think some of the neat things that folks are working on have to do with optics. And a lot of it came, has come from like creatures. So I think about uh, you got a starfish. And a starfish doesn't have like a pair of eyes. Some starfish have these little weird organic crystals all over their little arms. And each one of them acts like an eye. And it and, and, and doing like interferometry, what they'd have like with a big telescope, we've got two giant mirrors that combine an image to make one very clear high resolution image. It appears that these like brainless starfish somehow take in all of that light, combine it and make one image out of like all their little arms pointing all over the place. They can almost see like 360 degrees if they really wanted to. They weren't like stuck on a rock or something. Uh, and then, and then there's also, you know, research being done into cephalopods, your octopus and squids. Some of the octopus who do really amazing camouflage work, they think that on the cellular level can also see through their skin. So they got their main eyes, right? Got their main eyes for like finding stuff to murder and whatnot. Uh, but they also have, they think, vision capabilities in their skin. So, so that when they like merge with a rock and they make their skin turn into that rock, it acts like an active camouflage. You know, you've seen this like active camouflage where like the car in, uh, what was the Bond movie in Iceland? The Aston Martin had active camouflage. So it basically had cameras on one side that project an image on, on the side facing the, the viewer. Uh, working on stuff like that. I wouldn't doubt if all sorts of material sciences or work, scientists are working on, on those things. Um, like nano nanobot repair stuff. Those things are really cool. Uh, you know, you you they got the self repairing concrete now. Have you guys seen that? Uh, self repairing concrete. Yeah, this stuff. Okay. Nope. Get rid of Google Earth. Um. It it. When moisture enters the system, it like bleeds out more material and makes a new concrete that that sticks in it. It's pretty neat. Uh, <clears throat> I think this stuff might help save things like uh, um, you know that collapse that happened in Miami Beach a couple years ago or last year that killed a hundred people. That condo that collapsed. It was fractures and substandard concrete that they think caused that collapse to happen. And that in that when in a humid ocean air environment when you get cracks in concrete the air reaches the rebar it causes the rebar to, to rust and then expand which causes more more fractures throughout the system but if you had a self-repairing concrete when a crack forms and humidity enters that system the concrete seals back up again allowing the the rebar not to get exposed to uh, air and moisture and rust and uh makes things all better that stuff is really cool um, but was an upset monkey, isn't there? Yeah. Oh, poor dog. Um, what are cool things, monkey, happening in material sciences? Uh, he just burped at me. Um, squabs again. Your answer was super helpful. These dudes don't typically hire folks with typical backgrounds for nerdy reasons. Polymorphic is a fancy word. <laughs> I mean, at best. Go down a Wikipedia rabbit hole, like figure out how, why uh, living concrete heals itself. Um, look at like active camouflages, look at nano repair. Um, you know, uh, uh, what's the stuff that like stone guard paint, weird things like that, that are like super hard when you paint it on a surface is almost like diamond hardness and protects from uh, chips and cracks. and. Uh, a lot of that is like kind of like chemical plating. And then you got the stuff that, that, you know, certain, you know, nanotechnology metamaterial companies are working on that, uh, can be used for like defrosting windows, uh, providing Faraday cages, being antennas, uh, blocking certain wavelengths of light so that like lasers can't pass through or certain radio waves. Uh, th those things are, pretty cool and uh i wouldn't doubt we'd see them in membranes of batteries and 
screens on, on phones, all sorts of stuff. Javier, welcome to Problem Solver. All right. 